we are excited to share some words of Rupa and uh, Prabhupada and uh, some other Acharyas. We will read the last verse, verse 11 from Upadeshamrita, Nectar of Instructions by Rupa Goswami. For those who are translating, verse 11, text 11, Upadeshamrita, Nectar of Instructions, Prabhupada's book. Uh, it sounds also very nice in Sanskrit. Uh, we will read the translation. <clears throat> of the many objects of favored delight and of all the lovable damsels of Vrajabhumi, Srimati Radharani is certainly the most treasured object of Krishna's love. And in every respect, Radha's divine Kunda is described by great sages as similarly dear to Krishna. Without any doubt, Radha Kunda is very rarely attained, even by the great devotees. Radha Kunda. Radha. Therefore, you I read, class must have just started. it is yeah. even more difficult yeah, read. for ordinary devotees to attain. I was if one your simply bathes once within those holy waters, one's pure love of Krishna is fully aroused. Yeah. Okay, once again. Of the many objects of favored delight and of all the lovable damsels of Raja Bhumi, Srimati Radharani is certainly the most treasured object of Krishna's love. And in every respect, Radha's divine Kunda is described by great sages and as similarly dear to Krishna. Undoubtedly. Oh, musicians. Radha Kunda is very rarely attained even by the great devotees. Therefore, it is even more difficult for ordinary devotees to attain. If one simply bathes once within those holy waters, <clears throat> one's pure love of Krishna is fully aroused. Why is Radha Kun so exalted? The lake is so exalted because it belongs to Srimati Radharani, who is the most beloved object of Sri Krishna. Among all the gopis, Radha is the most beloved. Similarly, her lake, Sri Radha Kun, is also described by great sages 
as the lake that is as dear to Krishna as Radha herself. Indeed, Krishna's love for Radha Kun and Srimati Radharani is the same in all respects. Radha Kun is very rarely attained. Even by great personalities fully engaged in devotional service. And what to speak of ordinary devotees who are only engaged in the practice of Vaidhi Bhakti. My God. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pirad. Again, just a minute. <laughs> Radha Kun is very rarely attained, even by great personalities fully engaged in devotional service. And what to speak of ordinary devotees who are only engaged in the practice of Vaidhi Bhakti. It is stated that a devotee will at once ah, sorry uh, will at once develop pure love of Krishna in the wake of the gopis if he once takes a bath in Radha. Radhe 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 the divine love for God will be awakened in him. Meaning that the divine love is in him, but sleeping, covered by material blockages, waiting to be awoken, awakened. So for Rupa Goswami, it's this divine love for God is already there and waiting to be released by clearing away our material blockages. Yeah. And this is uh, after hearing this bus. <laughs> I remember Radha Rasa Oh yeah, all good. So uh, after hearing this sentence, we remember in Radha Rasa Sdaniti. Uh, I forgot to pass even Brahma or Shuka, Narada. Was all these great devotees also very eager to have, uh, you know, darshan of Radhika or some green stool of uh, like Radhika? So, and then say, what to speak, practicing devotee, even very highly personality, like uh, even Sita. Oh. Like Shuka Deva or Narada Azad, they also not easy to approach this uh, Radhika or Radha Kunda. This many similarity I can find. Radha Radha. Hard one to me. Dona to me. Dona is there. Yeah. Bring the, we will read this last sentence once again. It is stated 
that a devotee will at once develop pure love of Krishna in the wake of the gopis it, the, if he once takes a bath in Radha Kund. Hard one gift to me. Srila Rupa Goswami recommends that even if one cannot live permanently on the banks of Radakun, he should at least take a bath in the lake as many times as possible. My God. And now, this is the most important item in the execution of devotional service. My God. This is the most important item in the execution of devotional service. Prabhupada ki jai. Is it okay just to go like that? Is it okay just to go like that? Prabhupada bath. Take bath in the lake. Enter the lake. Who is on the Bhaji Bhakti, they not take part. Mm. Okay. They don't understand the importance. Okay. Right. They, are, they, are, they are afraid. Afraid. Oh, I was afraid. To Raga Bhakti. Oh, we can put, maybe we can put too respectful. <laughs> <It's the same>. <laughs> <laughs> You don't go in. <laughs> Sunday, who is going to Radha Kund? Radha. Oh, oh. 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 So, she has some money issues, so we can talk about it. Once. <laughs> but now, now, very, now, little colder, maybe. maybe Only noontime, maybe. Yeah, let's go oh, this way. That we are okay, because. Yeah. If you go earlier, maybe we can make it. But usually, this is no is after cutting, yeah, it's not recommended yeah, because it's too cold. Uh, yeah. But someone who is eager, that can. Yeah. So, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, can you put lemon more? Yeah. Rice in this connection My. that Sri Radha Kun is the most select place for those interested in advancing their devotional service in the wake of the lady friends, Sakis, and in the wake of confidential serving the maids, manjaris of Shimati Radharani. Most select place for sakis and manjaris. Can you live? Living entities who are eager. This one. Yeah, yeah. To return home to the transcendental kingdom of God, Goloka Vrindavan, yeah. by means of attaining their spiritual bodies, Siddha Deha should live at Radha Take shelter of the confidential serving maids of Sri Radha. And under their direction, 
engage constantly in her service in rather service but once again living entities who are eager to return home to the transcendental kingdom of god to loka vrindavan and who don't like to go back mm. <laughs> yeah my god it's interesting how it develops <laughs> From fear and respect, I don't want to go back. Right. Okay, the third feature. <laughs> so, who are eager to return home by means of attaining their spiritual body, Siddha Deka. The spiritual body. Opa. Yeah. Hmm. Should. Live at Radakun. Take shelter of the confidential serving maids of Sri Radha Opa. and under their direction engage constantly in her Radha's service. Maharaj Jananda. Yes. See that. Prabhupada so kind. Yes. About how this uh, book came about. It was written after Chaitanya and Charitamrita, somewhere like one of the last books of Prabhupada. Oh. 1990. So this book was published, I don't know exact months, but the Pabupada was written preface. It mentioned September 20, 90. 75. That means Guru Dev is 20 years birthday. How about that? <laughs> so, and what I want to say is... Am I what day? Your birthday. 75. For 75, 20 years birthday. 30. 20th birthday. Not 30. 30. 45. Oh, sorry, 30. Sorry, so, so, sorry 30 years birthday. Yeah, 30 years, sorry, 30 years past. And what I want to say is that means probably this book was published around the beginning of 1970, 1976. That means, of course, Bhagatam was, you know, constantly publishing. And then Pabupada was written Bhagatam 10th canto, I think 14th chapter, and then Pabupada translation was stopped. So, except Sri Bhagatam, this book was published after Chaitanya Charitamrita. Ah. So that means this book may be considered one of the last book of Sri Prabhupada. Yeah, Prabhupada. Yeah. So that means this we may say Prabhupada's last message for us. And then this book, last sentence is Prabhupada's dear last message for us. We may consider like this. Say, for example, sometimes people is written uh, before this some kind of message for, for children or you know some successor. My wish is like this. This property should be this person, you know. This money should be go. Like say, mm -hmm. you know, many people does before dying, you last, know. Last moment. Yeah, last moment, you know. Last wish. La, you know, last they would like like a, like a last wish, yes. you know. Last moment. And then we can change at any moment, but it is most effective one is last message. 
So that means this book may consider last book, and last page may be considered the Prabhupada's last message for us. My God. And he's saying taking bath and rather cone as often as possible. Yes. So and then <laughs> you want to say? Yes, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Um Prabhupada chose the last book. Rupa Goswami Upadesha Murita. I feel this is one of proof. Prapada is Rupa Nuga Bhakti. Yes. Huh? Prapada is Rupa Nuga. That's why he chose this book, Rupa, Rupa Goswami's book, right? Yes. Yeah. yes. I feel it. Yes. So maybe I may say. Please. Thank you very much. So, Srimad Bhagatam, it is said, it describes 18,000 verse, about 18,000 verse. And Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is describes about 11,500 bus. My God. All together, 13,000 bus. Okay. Only a few person could read it. And then I realizing among the 13,000 bus, Narottama Das described this essence in Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And Narottama Das was describes only 120 bus. Mm. And Rupa Goswami here describes all essence of Shastras, only 11 bus. Mm. 11 bus? Yes. 11 verse. So means if we want to read Bhagatam Chaitanya Chaitanya Charita, it's okay, but it takes so much time because 30,000 bars. But if we read oh, this Upadesha Murita, we can grasp their essence uh, of Rupa Goswami the teaching only 11 bars. That is really yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also feel that uh, although we say it's essence, meaning it's mm. very short, this is a beauty. But it's so clear that everyone can understand. It's so clear, simple, very, very simple. So clear that everyone can understand and follow. But no problem. No. No problem of following, understanding what is good, what is bad, how to relate to devotees, how to re relate to Guru, how to relate to Radha and Krishna, to Radha. Everything is there, the highest. And very clear. Yeah, I have a very understanding, very simple way. Very simple way. Short, simple, done. And also, this book was amazing. <coughs> Among the Prabhupada wrote probably 70 books. Prabhupada wrote about 70 books, maybe more. Then, among the 70 books, he describes this manjari is very rare. As far as I know, probably only this book. The teaching of uh, Lord Chaitanya describes, at that time he did not mention manjari. Uh, Prabhupada mentioned Radik, Radira, Radha Rani's assistant, made assistant, something like that. So here clearly mentioned Manjari. This is I as far as I know, this only one book. Mm. Ah. Next sentence, Prabhupada's sentence. So these three things. Living in Radakun, taking shelter of confidential serving the maids of Sri Radha. My God. 
and under their direction engage constantly in Radha's service. <laughs> My God. Prabhupada says, this is the most exalted method for those engaged in devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. My God. What? So yeah. there is no protection. Out, outside is no base. <laughs> then they not take certain. Sasi base. This is the most exalted method for those engaged in devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I love you. My God. Mm. What is meaning? Can you explain? <laughs> if I believe in Sastra and Srimad Bhagavatam, I am not in protection of Mahaprabhu. Okay, Guru Deva suggesting if we take Sherita, Srimad Bhagavatam, etc., which was written 5,000 years ago. Then, uh, Anantas Bhaji Maharaj was mentioned. We can attain uh, Gopi uh, Mahababa. Gopi Baba in Rasarira at most. So if we take Sherita Srimad Bhagatam, we can attain only only Gopi Baba. Generally speaking, in Rasarira. So but here mentioned uh, those who engage in devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then, question is, what is uh, Mahaprabhu's protection? What is Mahaprabhu's manobishta? Means honest desire. What is Mahaprabhu giving to us? This is, uh, I feel, this Unna to Ujwalasa. Swa Bhakti Shuriyam means Radharani's service of maid, her maid servant. It is called Unnato, uh, it is Baba Urasarasa. So, and here mentioned if we base Radha Kunda. We may, we may get Gopi Baba, but if we practice devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or under guidance of Sri Rupa Raghunata or Sanatana, especially Raghunata Das Goswami, because he was practicing in Radha Kunda. So, that person is under protection of Rupa Raghunata and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That person may attain Manjari Baba. Yeah, oh. And then, question may occur. Ananta Das Babaji Maharaj, I, I did not have directly, but I heard from his disciple. Ananta Das Bah Maharaj, Ananta Das Bah Maharaj is requesting he, her disciples, his disciples, stay in Radha Kunda. If it is possible. So this is his instruction, the same as Rupa Goswami. Then question may arise. Why? Our Parama Guru Dev. Well, why our Guru Dev does not to stay in Radha Kunda? 
So this question may devotee have. I don't know answer, but I feel it like this. Why Rupa Goswami recommended to stay Radha Kunda? Because Radha Kunda is only Madhura Rasa. No Basara Rasa, no, no Sakya Rasa. I can say maybe if I say no is maybe too much, but I would say no dasharasa, no sakyarasa, no no pasarasa, only madurarasa is prominent. Even Yashoda Maya, Nanda Baba, they don't know about Radha Kunda. <laughs> Krishna's friend, very few friend knows, like uh, like Madhu Mangara or you know Shridam or uh, Subaru. Only a few may know, but not everybody knows. So therefore. This Madhura Rasa is very nice. And if we see Radha Kunda's pastime is mainly midi pastime in Ashtakari. Mm. So in that sense, my feeling like this, because only Madhura Rasa is prominent in Radha Kunda. So therefore, Rupa Goswami is recommended. Say, for example, Grindavan may, may have another rasa. Sakya rasa may, may have. Or maybe sometimes maybe another rasa also. But uh, according to our meditation, if we meditate only radical seva, then same. Because many pastime, especially night pastime, is happening in Brindaba, in, in Kunja, near Jamuna. So this rasa also very, very confidential. So, but this, I think Rupa Goswami was generally speaking, this Radha Kunda is only protected by Madhura Rasa. Only Saki Manjari could enter. So therefore he, he is stressing. But uh, some sadhu who is always meditating Radhika's Seva is, I, I would say, is same. So therefore, it also to living Brindaban also, if we could meditate one point, Sai Baba and Radhika Seva, and then we may say it's as good as <laughs> like Radha. This is my honest feeling. But the Rupa Goswami is talking about attaining Radha Kund in Goloka Vrindavan, in the spiritual world. And Ananda Das Papaji was telling his disciples to say, stay in the physical uh, Radha Kund. And also, uh, right. <laughs> And right, and I will the So Uttabaji's Uttabaji's comment is very nice. Because Rupa Goswami said if physically we could not stay in Brindaba or Radha Kunda, then in mentally, in meditation, we should stay in Brindavan or Radha Kunda. Because we can attain the fruits, result 
according to our meditation, according to our desire. So today, Gurudev was describing this morning class. Why everybody cannot attain or cannot understand this Mahaprabhu teaching, Baba Urasarasa, Manjari Baba. And Gurudev was saying, because of we don't have a desire, we don't have a greed. And uh, another thing, uh, also we don't surrender enough. <laughs> And also, we, we don't hear pastime, especially from Rashika Vaishnava. So therefore, uh, we many devotees uh, does not uh, catch Mahaprabhu's real mood, real teaching. <laughs> To come to Mahaprabhu mode, we have to come to Prabhupada mode. By His grace, we can see Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Yes. yes. In other words, if we want to have Mahaprabhu's mood, we have to have our Gurudev's mood, our Rupanuga, uh, Rupanuga, or Nityananda's uh, Paribar's mood, we have to follow. And Prabhupada also following Rupa Goswami and also Nityananda. Prabhupada follows Nitai Gora because Prabhupada was put to deity not only Gora but also Nitai. Gaudiya Mata has only Gora deity. Prabhupada was from Gaudiya Mata, but he put Nitai deity in, in his temple. <laughs> this is really, really amazing because, because, because one of the reasons is his father, his Paribar was Nityananda. I, I believe, therefore, from beginning, Prabhupada has has uh, feeling for Nitai. Therefore, also important important temple. No, no, no. Important temple in Vrindavan. Krishna Balaram. Krishna Balaram temple. But Prabhupada giving the name for one of the important temple in Vrindavan, Krishna Balaram. So maybe this is also the reason why he did it. <laughs> <laughs> he makes us mad. So I remember one leader, Gurudev and Prabhupada. So about Paramagurudev, Radha Govinda Das Prabhupada Maharaj recommend our Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj. You should go to Darshan. Why? Because he's Nityananda himself, right? Yeah. yeah. That's why Prabhupada knows Nityananda important because he's Nitai. Nitai is our duty, everything. That's why without Nitai, impossible for him. Very right. Yeah. Now I understand why he said Nityananda. 
No, no, why, why? This Because is... Nitai appear in the form of Rupa. Mm. Nityananda himself come as a Prabhupada mm. to help us. Yes. Go and take blessing. This is Nita, this book is Nita. It's Rita everything. Or just we need to open our eye by Guru Deva Mahasi Nita. Maybe I would like to share. <clears throat> so, in Shila Rupa Goswami, there is one sentence. Prabhupada says, Shila Rupa Goswami recommends that even if one cannot live permanently, meaning there are devotees who just by the arrangement of providence cannot live in Radha. No problem. It's natural. It's not that 8 billion people will live in Radha. <laughs> in fact, uh, even physical, physically no. <laughs> so, Rupa Goswami understands there, there will be cases of people just spontaneously uh, bl blessed by spontaneous attraction to Radha and Krishna, spontaneous attraction to Radha's service. To, yeah. But by the arrangement of, yeah, the same Radha and Krishna, <laughs> yeah, they are not living there. Although they would like, really like to live there and take bath every day a few times. So there is, there is a thing, uh, like a consideration like this. And then uh, Prabhupada said, okay, just take the bath. If you are not living there, by the will of Radha and Krishna, <laughs> then when you come, just take bath as long as much as possible because if you take battle just once then it will one thing yeah. Prabhupada give us this message this Rupa Goswami teaching and he said to live in Radha So I remember Prabhupada say about Krishna conscious. Why is a Krishna conscious? To search, to apply your science to search who is Krishna conscious. <laughs> If you are a scientist and you acquiring knowledge, research <coughs> who is Krishna conscious. That day you will research and you will understand who is the Krishna conscious. Then you will understand. Why Prabhupada is giving up this Amrita to us? And what is the meaning of living in Radha Kunda? I see many devotees who is not accept Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who also live in Radha Kunda. They don't understand the essence of teaching of Gaudiya Vaishnava, that living in Radha Kunda means to living in relation with Radha Kunda. I live someplace, but I have relations outside someplace in America. So I, my body is living, but my but mind is in America or not. 
So I'm li my body is living in Vrindavan, but my, my heart and mind is living in different places. So why Prabhupada said, live in Radha Kun, develop relation with what I say, Krishna consciousness, Radhika, who is the Krishna conscious all the time, develop relation with Radhika. She is my history. And if you do that, then you come in my parampara, my line. Without relation, you cannot live with that any person. Without relation, without love, you live, but you are not living. And if you are not living nearby, and you have deep relation and love, you are always living there. Right or not? It comes to me, I share you. My God, I should not tell I want to share. Yeah. Die. Yeah. So, give my from that. <coughs> always feel my heart. <laughs> always you say, you want to share. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> we were reading that I read again uh, Living entities who are eager to return home to the transcendental kingdom of God, the Lukavandam, by means of attaining their spiritual bodies, should live at Radhakun, take shelter of the confidential serving mates of Sri Radha, and under their direction engage constantly in her service. Here in the sentence, Prabhupada indirectly says that bona fide guru, that Sri Guru, <coughs> is always Radha Dasi in the, and it goes on, this is the most exalted method for those engaged in devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. So if you follow of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and you take shelter of the maid servants of group of Srimati Radharani, what is our process first? First we take shelter of Guru. Indirectly it means that Guru must be and is always Radha Dasi. Mm. Yeah. If not, then is not in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Kaviraj Goswami and Chaitanya Charitamrita always Rupa Raghunath mm. Always following Rupa Raghunath. Narottanga Thakur, Bhakti Nino Thakur, Prabhupada, Narayan Maharaj, Anandadas Pavarji, Guru Dev. All are our mm. And Prabhupada saying indirectly here, we have to take shelter of the maid servant of Srimati Radharani. So our Guru must be Radha Dasu. Mm. Then it's bona fide Guru. Mm. Thank you. Suniti wants to say. Jai Jai Suniti. Jai Radhe. Thank you, Gurudev. You're so kind. And thank you, Gora Chandraji. That was very nice point. And I remember also one very beautiful uh, talk of Srila Prabhupada with one of his disciples in the conversation about how to attain uh, Swarup or to become Siddha. 
the gist that Prabhupada said was that Guru will give and there is no consideration of time or, or place, he says. How to get this eternal information? He's asking Srila Prabhupada, how to get this eternal in, uh, information like Siddha Pranali? And he's asking this because he had heard about it. And then uh, Prabhupada said, there is no material consideration about Guru is here or there. When you reach that level, Guru will give. So that is also the importance of Nityananda, of Nitai, of Ananga Mantri, and we know who she is. She is, you know, Shimati Radhika's way to enter into this world, to deliver all the souls, to invite them back. And when we get the mercy of Gurudev, who is ours, Dasi of Radhika, otherwise he or she is not in, in Rupa Nuga line. That is so beautiful is how you explain this, Gora oh. Chanaji. <coughs> and I remember in that contents also one quote that I don't have at my hand, but uh, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur also explained that when the disciple or when we get the, the mercy of our Gurudev, we get the um, realization or the mercy of Ananga Mandri and she is giving Swarup because she is an expansion of Srimati Radhika or sometimes we hear also in this way non-difference and she is in charge of giving Swarup. So when uh, Prabhupada was installing Nitai Goranga and stressing how to you know, worship them and to please them, that is already the preparation to giving the living entities the connection to Ananga Mandri, to our Janavama, and to give them this very sweet information of being a Dasi as the highest goal of a Jiva that we can reach in this, even in, and especially in this Kali Yuga. So thank you very much. That's a very beautiful topic and how Prabhupada is giving it all and how we are so lucky that now by mercy of Prabhupada we can uh, also get a little bit more deeper connection to that and the puzzle of how I am a fallen soul in this material world but still I am you know, I have the I have the the good luck now by the mercy of Goranga and Nityananda to become connected to the Radha Dasi Bhav by Sri Guru and the deeper and deepest realization who is Sri Guru. That is really our good fortune, and I pray that by all of your mercy, I can also do little steps in that direction. Radhe. Yeah, good people always say Shri, no, who's Shri? Shri, <laughs> Shri is Radharani. And Shri Guru is Nasi of Radharani. Shri Pad is Guru Dev always at the lotus feet of Radharani. Uh, what comes to me, <clears throat> I would like to ask you all to to correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> so, at the end of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Ma mekam sharanam raja, surrender to, some say to me, we say surrender to my one, to my Radha. And then he says, uh, I will protect you from all mistakes, from all misdeeds, from all sinful reactions. Just be peaceful, don't worry, just surrender. Everything will be fine. Moksha Shyami, Mashucha, don't worry, everything will be fine. So I feel in uh, this case of Mahaprabhu, he's also avatar, meaning he will bring something new, whether we know it or feel it or <laughs> There will be something new. And in this sense, uh, 
I heard, so when Rupa was writing uh, uh, Bhaktira Samrita Sindhu, uh, the chapter of Stai, so he was following Srimad Bhagavatam, like we you know, sequence. This rasa, this rasa, this rasa, this rasa, then he came to Madhurya rasa, and those who know Srimad Bhagavatam for them, except like uh, expected is okay. Now this is the end of chapter Stai. But Rupa added one verse about Bhavalasana. In Stai, never heard before, not even in, in most respected Srimad Bhagavatam, never heard before, very bravely put <laughs> at the end. And then he ends Stai and enters Sanjan, the waves of the, on the ocean. So I feel here we need protection. If someone asks you, oh, it's not Bhagavatam teaching, <laughs> find me Manjari in Bhagavatam. And we can say, I am under protection of Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In his disciples' book, there is this what I am cultivating. So I am completely surrendered and I'm protected by Mahaprabhu's instruction. So this is how, what I feel, why we need to be under protection of Mahaprabhu, like Arjuna was under the protection of Krishna, just abandon all religions, don't mind. <laughs> I will protect you, everything is fine, everything is fine. So Mahaprabhu also, just do this, do my, <laughs> Uh, uh, Jananda said, do my Manobishnam, do practice the desire of my heart, the specific what I came for. It's new, it's dangerous. <laughs> it's not Shastrik, but it is. Shirade. <laughs> Shirade, like this. Shirade. Yeah. <laughs> Andaga inspired me, I want to share. Mahaprabhu, what is the difference between avatar and avatari? Avatar is the expansion of the love. Mm. And when he appears, himself, Krishna's to Bhagavan Swai. <laughs> <coughs> Means Krishna is avatari, not avatar, but the Narsinga avatar, Bara avatar, Kashyap avatar. These avatars happen in exp expansion of Krishna. Bhavan avatar, but Mahaprabhu is not avatar. You can say he is also avatari because mm -hmm. Radha and Krishna both appear yes. openly. In Krishna, Radha is energy. Ten fifteen Bhagavad Gita, mm -hmm. but Chaitanya openly Krishna took the shelter of Radhika. Mm -hmm. The Radhika. Because love is the goal, and the God becomes certain. Adi Lila Furkanta. Introduction of Adi Lila Furkanta. Krishna is the subject, and the love, Radha, is the object. Never happened what happened when Chaitanya appears. Right? Yes. Yes, sometimes Chaitanya is avatari, sometimes like Channa avatar, like hidden because he's devotee. 
January, maybe February. You are there. We are waiting for you. Please. Waiting. Are they, are they waiting. Pray, pray for me and I will come there <laughs> by your mercy. <laughs> yes. Uh, I see you. And your family, all are devotees, right? <coughs> Surprised to yeah. see. And they got yeah. so many pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very lucky. <laughs> Somehow. Very, very happy to see you like this. Thank you. It's very nice to be seen and to see and hear all of you. Um, yeah, think, uh, right. So we are sharing about Ma uh, Prabhupada, how the mercy comes in our life. So, so, Gurudev, <coughs> so after listening Gurudev, I want to also share. Yeah. Uh, one day, I think Gopinath, uh, Sargombo Atacharya and Gopinath Atacharya, they are kind of brother in law, they are discussing in Kali Yuga, no avatar, because, you know, Tri, Tri Yuga. Avatar. And then Gopinata Charya said, You don't understand. And then, then Sarumata said, Why I don't understand? I know Shastra. <laughs> I know Shastra. <laughs> then, <coughs> then Gopinata Charya said, You don't understand because you don't get mercy of the world. Yeah. And then Salmo Atacharya did a little bit, you know, uh, upset and dissat dissatisfied. But uh, after that, he got the mercy of Mahaprabhu. And then he accepted Mahaprabhu's incarnation. And, and then, generally speaking, if someone who gets the prema, it shows Ashtasattvika Baba. You know, like sometimes, like a body is trembling from tears is coming. Sometimes, you know, like a voice could not, could not pronounce it. Sometimes, you know, so many symptoms are there. Eight kinds of symptoms. But this Mahaprabhu case, not only Ashtabi, Ashtasattvika Baba, but also he show us amazing symptoms. What kind of symptom? Sometimes his body becomes like tartars. All limbs, hand and leg enter in the body. Sometimes his joint was slacken, 20 cent, 30 centimeter, they are kind of slacken, like a bone is like a, you know. <clears throat> so, 
at the after reading this past time, I don't understand really. But Anantatas Babaji Maharaj was explanation so amazing. Why Mahaprabhu exhibit this amazing symptom? Because Mahaprabhu was tasting manjari bhav. Yeah. That's the bhav of rasa. That is bhav of rasa. So this taste is, is completely amazing. Nobody exhibits this symptom. And one thing I want to add, bhav rasa rati, if you not relish, you cannot understand the, the mercy of Chaitanya. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that he is showing Radha Krishna is in Chaitanya. Wow. Not only Radha Krishna, Radha is the feeling of Radhika, covering of Radhika, Krishna is inside. And also this Krishna, who is inside, he took the Manjari Bhav to learn from Radhika. That Manjari Bhav, the Dasi Bhav from the Radhika, Krishna took. That this Avatari took this Manjari Bhav because to teach us this is the easiest way to follow in Kali Yuga. Oh. Avatari, when Krishna swing Bhagavan, he took this path of love that this is the only way you can come out from this material suffering. If you, that day you will realize your life will change. Honestly, I was living in Vrindavan. Vrindavan people, Brajavasis, don't believe in Chaitanya. But really Anandas Babaji book listening, it give divine feeling inside us that this avatari, avatar, not avatari, the real original form, mm. he took in Mahaprabhu, Krishna himself became devotee of Radhika. Wow. Mm. That is my Give example. Huh? Give example. To teach us, if you like me, I what I do, you do yeah. that way. By example of teaching. When we are watching the internal reasons of Mahaprabhu brilliance, it's never written that he wants to become Radharani. Mm. He writing, I want to see, he wanted to see Krishna through the eyes of Radharani. But I don't say, I want to become Radharani. Yeah. 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 And who can, can see it? him? What do you teach him? Eh? Your mercy. My God. Who wow. can see through the eyes of Radharani? Manjari can do that. Mm. So our Tari become Manjari. You can feel this. And then this Goa Thakra is, uh, it's not only Radha and Krishna, also Dasi, Bhav, but Bhavala Svati is also there. Krishna takes that. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita, there are also evidence of that. When, yeah, when Mahaprabhu showed the symptoms, no? one time, he not he is his own ecstasy, he not come to external consciousness and then they would be stay to Ketan for hours and then he come back and then he asking why you bring me here? I saw them. I saw the divine power. 
in Radha Kunda. <laughs> no? He was watching Radha and Krishna. And then this most amazing thing also, uh, what Jayananda Maharaj revealed the conversation between Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy, who is Vishaka Sakti, but finally talk on top talking about this Prem Vilas Vivaka mm. that also only Manjali can see. Mm. Saki, Vishaka Saki cannot see that. Only Manjari can see that. So Mahaprabhu even gave mercy to Vishaka Saki to understand Manjari Bhav also. So, and uh, I also feel in this very nice point Gora Chandra pointed out. And uh, if we think deeply, Radha Rani never alone. Whenever Radha goes, like shadow is also coming. So similarly, Radha's dance, Manjari Kinkai is always near Radhika. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, if we talk Radhika and then automatically Manjari is inside. Mm. So therefore Gurudev is saying 24 and a half syllable on Kama Gaitu. Actually, I never heard, honestly, Vishwanatha Chakrabati Thakur describes 24 and a half syllable of Kama Gaitri is a is a body body of Krishna. And then Narayan Maharaj is Guru Devs, Bhakti Prabhagan Kesha Maharaj describes Kama Gaitri. It's Kama Gaitri represent Radha and Krishna both. This 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 we learn from Narayan Maharaj. But beyond this 24 and half syllable is half is manjari. Because without manjari, what kind of leader Radha Krishna could taste? How could they meet? How, who can serve them in Nikunja Lira? Impossible. <coughs> so therefore, Gurudev was more expand. This is for me was really amazing. So therefore, if we are stay in Manjari Baba, this interpretation of Shastra, interpretation mantra is completely different aspect. Because vision change. I feel that is Chakudana Diro E. Chakshudana Diro E. Divine vision appear by the grace of Guru Dev, Shri Guru, Shri Guru, Shri Guru. and Nitai Gaurat, and our Pariba. <laughs> this is the most exalted method for those engaged in devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In this connection, <coughs> Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur writes that even great sages and great devotees like Narada and Sanaka, do not get an opportunity to come to Radha Kund to take their baths. What then to speak of ordinary devotees? If 
by great fortune. Thief by great fortune. One gets an opportunity to come to Radakun and wait even once. He can develop his transcendental love for Krishna exactly <coughs> as the gopis did. It is also recommended that one should live on the banks of Radakund and should be absorbed in the loving service of the Lord. <coughs> one should bathe there regularly and give up all material conceptions taking shelter of Sri Radha and her assistant gopis. Assistant, assistant gopis. So this is another way to express, to say Manjari, assistant gopi. So first time what Prabhupada said, uh, confidential serving the maids of Radha, and here Prabhupada said, assistant, mm. Radha's assistant to gopis. Mm. He cannot become assistant. <coughs> Shri Radha. Assistant with the low police. A special service, assistant, mm. assisting service. If one is thus constantly engaged during his lifetime, after giving up the body, he will return back to Godhead to serve Sri Radha. Oops! Nothing written about If one is thus constantly engaged during his lifetime, after giving up the body, he will return back to Godhead to serve Sri Radha. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Wow. In this is the absolute truth. <laughs> Jai Ho. Jai Prabhupada. <laughs> absolute truth. It's not controller. Controller become the Manjari Dasi of Radha. To teach them that to, to, to take the shelter of absolute truth because the source of love is energy, all energy, source of love starts from here, and that is Sri Rama. It's not about Bhagavan, it's about absolute truth. Absolute truth. And Srimad Bhagavad is an introduction, <coughs> is a miracle. Because Prabhupada, Srimad Bhagavad introduction, he mentioned about Chaitan Chaitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagavad. And he's explaining what is absolute truth, where to search to us, not to the controller, run for the controller, run for the absolute truth. And we are so excited to read this. My, my God, <laughs> we forget to read. We love so much. <laughs> <laughs> because Virat Kusumanjali is telling to live in the Absolute Truth, and this is telling what is Absolute Truth and how to be careful 
you always meditate for absolute truth. Wow. 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 And we not understand because we are collecting the knowledge only. We not want to know the science of this. Bhagavad, Srimad Bhagavad, he say, one is a knowledge, what is that? Can you take? One is a knowledge and one is the science of My God. What is the knowledge and what is the science? No, you read. You read. Oh, oh, okay. Science and knowledge is in that part. Perfect. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Listen. Oh. <laughs> Derek, Derek, why? Please listen to that. <laughs> Srimad <laughs> Bhagavatam is the transcendental science <clears throat> not only <clears throat> for knowing the ultimate source of everything, not only for knowing the ultimate source of everything. Not only knowing from all details of the creation, this is no meaningful. <laughs> but, but also for knowing our relation with Him, And our duty towards perfection of the human society on the basis of this perfect knowledge. Why is a knowledge? If you want to get knowledge, this is the perfect knowledge to develop relation with Krishna. <laughs> This is the science. Yeah. Brother Derek, I'm very happy when you got it. Yeah. is in love. <laughs> because you listen very good. In Russian class and second time now. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What is the name of this uh, Maharaj, German Maharaj? German Maharaj. Who is the Ananta Gurda? Uh, oh, <coughs> this is uh, Prithu Maharaj. Prithu. You know Prithu Maharaj? Very? Yeah, he knows. Prithu, Prithu. Prithu, Prithu was big. Prithu Baba? <coughs> He knows Prithu. Prithu was big. At, at, one, at one point of time, maybe for a few years, he was a big figure in Ireland. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They know him well. <laughs> so, if one is thus constantly engaged during his lifetime, after giving up the body, he will return back to Godhead to serve Sri Radha in the same way as he contemplated during his life on the banks of Radha Kunda. Sri Sri Jai Jai Sri Radha. Beautiful. Mundo, a few sentences more. Go on. <laughs> the conclusion is that to live on the banks of the Radakun and to bathe there daily constitute the highest perfection of devotional service, 
What is devotion service? Revelation. This is the science of us. Develop relation with Sri Radhika. Krishna said, I am your student, you are my teacher. Krishna is teaching, teaching this. And he is saying, Bhagavan. Krishna to Bhagavan swing. He teaches. If you want to be perfect, you have to come in Bhavna Swati. Find out Bhavna Swati and practice that. It is a difficult position to attain. Bhavla Swati is difficult. Bhavla Swati is difficult position. Mahaprabhu give us. But if I attend it, it's the best position. It is a difficult position to attain. Even for great sages and devotees like Narada, Narada, uh, Srivas, when he becomes, then he understands, he takes it center. <coughs> By serving Radha Kun, one can get an opportunity to become an assistant of Srimati Radharani. You see, Manjari, mm. this is <laughs> Bhavala Sati. Mm. Manjari is the Bhavala Sati. Without Manjari, we cannot be related with Sri Radha. Male cannot relate to Radhika. In our male consciousness, we are male, purusha, we cannot serve to females. We have to be a prakriti. We have to dasi of Radhika to serve her. Right, Sumiti? Jai Ho Gurudev. Always the essence and always fresh. Prabhupada. Updesa Amrita. So wonderful. By serving Radha Kun, one can get an opportunity to become an assistant of Srimati Radharani under the eternal guidance of the gopis. Shri Radha. Jerry, you want to talk with him? No, we will talk. We will talk. <laughs> okay, talk. Looking to you. Yeah. Ah, there is Radha. My God, you are calendar clubbing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Nagna's day off. Place Anaka's day off. Okay, okay. Oh, Our cousin was coming. The cousin was coming. Yeah, we are in the costume. We you the I want to be. See you in Brinda. Wow. Yes, my God. Wow. 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 Wow.
ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと